It's a matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we are back inside Bell Center, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. This is as loud and as knowledgeable a crowd as we'll experience really all. Oh! in and secures the takedown. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop the fight. You got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can hit the finish. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Oliveira. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Ground and pound strike is true. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He is now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. You ready? You ready? Fight. Round two underway. What a punch. Whiffs on the right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Oliveira. Nice. Take down defense, oh, holds man, up. Look at that. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. Oh, oh. Rivera's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. Lands the grounded pound strike here. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Can he take? Oh, 
he's got the ground and pound going now. This is a terrible position. Gotta be careful, Omar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. by submission, beautifully executed there on the ground. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Back inside the octagon once again, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop in this contest at three minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Islam Bokachev. Well, he came in a confident number one contender. He leaves as the undisputed best welterweight in the world. And I say that because he didn't just come in here and wrest the belt away from the champion. He submitted the guy, and rather emphatically. So you're looking at him. That is the new UFC welterweight champion. And as he celebrates in the corner, you can't help but think that this could be an extended run for him here at 170 pounds.